Yo, what's up everyone? It is uh, Saturday, January 8th. It's crazy because a week ago I was in Catch LA eating scallops, having a great time. Um, definitely not in 20 degree weather, definitely in 70 degree weather. Um, I really, really have such an affinity for LA, but the reason I'm doing this is because I bring my camera every day and I don't record any top sets. It's just banter and stuff. And I realized I was like, I gotta stop doing that and actually record, you know, things that I'm uh, uh, working out and such. So what I'm gonna do is uh, definitely try to get top set of at least one exercise each day. So that's frankly more than enough. Um, and then some of the commentary and stuff that I talk about will be just a part of that because I feel like I look back a lot of the vlogs from last year I actually recorded content of me working out, you know, so getting a few top sets even if it's not every day Just some of the bigger exercises. I think that'll be dope um, So I'm excited to start doing that again um, Work another thing is that I really do need to start pushing myself on the weight I feel like I've kind of coasted just because I've seen a lot of aesthetic improvement in terms of like the shape uh, definition and certain muscles developing really well in certain areas uh, case in point, my quads, my lats, my shoulders. Um, but <clears throat> I think I could definitely stand to like really up uh, the weight. I've been really coasting. I'd say like since October. October ended like November, December, really coasted on the weight. I feel like, you know, and I think a part of that is because I did switch from going from heavy volume to start transitioning to more strength stuff and power stuff. So I think, um, I think that, uh, I'll get there in due time in terms of like getting used to, for example, doing five by seven, six, five, four, three, uh, in terms of reps, right? I'd say after surgery, June was a toss up, July was a toss up. It was really August, September, but August, September was just kind of motions, bare bones, three by 10, whatever, three by eight, whatever I was doing, right? It was until October where you could start seeing the changes to my body and uh, really ramped up even the weight and the volume stuff in the November, December transition to power and strength. But just, you have to remember transitioning to that in November, December, that's May, June, July, August, September, October, six months of just no power strength training. So November, December worked tough for me. So that's why you see me squatting 95 pounds. It's cause like, Hey, that's what I can do for seven reps right and now. I can go out and do a 135, uh, 155 for seven. And you know, that'll work its way up to the 225s, whatever. But Realizing now that I'm very comfortable, I, like there is a lot of strength in there for me to tap into, even like machine-based stuff. So I'm looking at my leg extension, leg curls, lat pull down, seated chest press. Um, there's a there's a lot there for me. That hey, that strength is there now. You did really well after surgery. To, hey, let's focus on volume mechanics. Let's transition to some strength stuff. Um, and uh, a lot of that strength is just there to be tapped into, right? So really, really excited about that. Um, I still got to do the 2021 recap, which I don't, I'll do that at one point. Also, I really love, uh, I may just do my Sunday recaps here. There's a way better room than my view than my studio. I got a little bar in the back, Eagles playing. Um, anyway, I got to go. There's a lot to be done um, before the night ends. Uh, not trying to be morose, guys. Anyway, subscribe. How to get into investmentbanking.com. Hey, guys, it's, uh, it's uh, February, it's, wow, holy shit, it's January 7th, Friday, 11.09. I haven't hack squatted since Forest Hill Village days. And this machine, they have like a few different like leg placements that I'm not sure how I'm comfortable with. So Farman's gonna show me how to use it. So lesson here is, it doesn't matter how old you are, if you don't know how to do something, ask something. Varm wow, I called you Farman again, my bad. Varman's in high school, I'm 30. I'm still asking the young, you know, so if you don't know something, ask, you know? Otherwise you're gonna get hurt. You don't wanna get hurt. So, since you're like kind of a taller person, probably want to hit this around here or even up here okay right. since i'm shorter i usually do over here okay all right you find the perfect leg placement i like to go a little bit wider what about the height of the height that just determines the angle how deep you can go so what type of angle are you trying to hit deep as fuck i only go I deep that's why I, that's why you should go like this because it's like the perfect place but it also has to do with your height so for you i think you can go like up here I can't even go that high. Yeah. Wait, just try getting on like naturally, like a squat. And I would be doing this uh, with no shoes, or I'd be doing this with my lifting shoes. Yeah. These are. No, you won't, you won't grip in. on this. You won't grip on this. Okay. Because you were saying, if I go like this, it just it's the same thing as leg press. What do you want to? Yeah. Work on? So what do you want to work on? So that type of thing. So place your legs like a normal squat. Yeah. Right. And then lift up and then bring it in. But there's no safety on here. Yeah, there is. What's the safety on here? Oh. Yes. No, that was close because your finger was there. 
No, it's not. Because that, unless you go all the way down, keep going. If I keep going down, it will stop. Like, go all the way down. You can go all the way down. Don't worry, it will stop. There's a safety right here. Oh. You can change it up to there. Oh. Yeah. That's why there's even a warning, you know? It's kind of hard, I'm not gonna lie. It is kind of hard. Wait, you can get used to it or? Yeah, I mean, you can get used to it. It's not that hard. But, yeah. if, but in theory, if this is lower, I'd be able to get deeper. Right? I mean, you can try it. Wait. Is it off? Let's go. Oh no, it needs to be higher. It needs to be higher. Yeah. Do either do this or this is what I use it for. What uh, pull is this on? What do you mean? Like the, the highest, bro. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't really know what pull it's just. Oh, the this highest. is nice because it's just service. Yeah. Can use. You use that this is a really nice pull. machine. What I like to do sometimes is. That's what you're saying. Okay. What I like to, say, like to do sometimes is I use. Wait, wait, wait. If you get off, it's kind of easier to show. So, it's nothing too hard. So instead of using this as handles, I go like this. You get a little bit more push on it. It's also like, it also takes out like, it feels harder. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like you're using your legs. Okay. You just take out your hands on it. You know, for me, for my goal, for the, the thing is, I do so many leg extension and goblet squats that have really helped with my quad. Mm -hmm. My goal for the back was to really develop this outer part more. So I'm not gonna go wide, I might just go traditional. Go for you it. Know? Go for it. That's your ego over here. Like this. Yeah, like that. But you, you do feel like it's a little bit more better. I feel like it hits like the legs a little bit more, but there's probably like no size to back it up. So I don't know. It's probably not true. You know, it's crazy, even with no weight, this feels like a lot. Yeah. Well, technically the machine does weigh something, so I guess there is some weight, but like, you know? Yeah. You know, the real challenge is, uh... Heavier you going? Huh? How heavy are you going? No. Is, I don't, like... You're trying to do it first? Yeah, how the fuck is it going to do it? I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know how to do it. I gotta, I see, I see people do it though. I gotta see how it... Oh, Foreman? Uh, you're making your first appearance in the 20... Oh. Uh, well, Foreman's about to go for this 465. Uh, I'm not gonna be here for it because I gotta run downstairs. Unless you're gonna try to hit it right now. Oh, you're not gonna do it right now? Not right now. Like, not, probably today, but like, not right now. Okay, how much time do you need? Five minutes. It's a PR, dog. <laughs> go listen to music or do some jumping jacks. Come on, just go, go for it. No. No. Uh, go for it back to back. Uh, anyway, you know, uh, I guess I could do some tricep pushdowns or I'll, I'll probably do that. But, um, dude, have a great 2022. You're senior, right? Yeah. <sighs> dude, it's crazy, man. Your next 10 years are going to be crazy. Anyway, I, I don't want to get too deep. Go focus on the PR. I'll be here. I'll do some press challenge. All right. No, no, I'll just wait till you're done. It's, I'm just being a good friend and filming him, so I'm going to make him feel bad that I'm ruining my set for him. All right, Farman. All right, man, let's see if Farmer's gonna get this right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's a set. That's Woo. a rep. That's a rep. That's a rep. That's a rep. Let's go. That's a rep. Grinder. That's a rep. That's a rep. Thank you. I know it took a lot to film that. It was <sighs> it was gut wrenching. That was a grinder. <laughs> no, that, that was a grinder. That was a PR, so. Yeah, yeah good job, dude. Alright, yeah, and at 165, right? 465. No, 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 your weight. Oh yeah, 165. So there you go, 165. Yeah, that's 3x body weight, two and a half to two, 3x body I weight. I can't do math right now. Uh, 320, good. you did 460. Yeah, that's three times your body weight. That's really yeah, good. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't do math yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, that's 3x your body weight. That's <laughs> Yo, really can impressive. Can you send me that video, by the way? Yeah, I'll clip this and send it to you. I'll just, I'll just cut it. I can do it tonight. I'll send it to you.